Bungie devs hate him, use this one simple trick to load up on spoils of conquest and essence of oversoul, kinda. Today I'm going to show y'all how to farm spoils in season 23, it ain't that hard. Doing this you can also get essence of oversoul, but holy lord on a cream cheese everything bagel you've got to have the devil's luck to get a lot of essence from doing this. Again it definitely is a farming method, but Bungie why are we so stingy with the drop rates on essence, they are really really not good. TLDR, I would do this farm if if you want guaranteed spoils, and if you're really close to getting your necrochasm and you're desperate for a few more Essence of Oversoul drops. As some of you can probably imagine, we're going after Iryut and her big old uh, tithes. Get an Iryut checkpoint however you can, and then make sure to do the old hold checkpoint on character A, have your buddies join you, then swap over to character B method. If you don't know how to do this encounter, I have a guide up on the entire Crota's End raid. Go check that out for a general breakdown of how the encounter works and my god tier call out Map, graphic design is my passion. One thing I will give you details on is how to lock up a one phase, which should be dummy easy to pull off with the right team loadout. You're gonna need one Radiant Well Warlock, one Divinity, one Tether Hunter, and a bunch of linear fusion rifles, although I'm sure other options would work fine. And before you comment, yeah, I know that Tether and Divinity debuffs do not stack together, but why bring both? Well, Hunter Tether is the stronger debuff at 30%, overriding Divinity's 15%. The reason we are still bringing Divinity though is that Iryut is a skinny little thing and is often really easy to lose track of during the damage phase. Missing headshots equals less of a shot at hitting a one phase so Divinity is only there to make sure no shot gets wasted. We are gonna fire a hunter tether at the floor near the ledge where she hangs out so that plus Divinity equals maximum debuff plus super easy to land crit shots. Again I'm sure a ton of weapons will work here for a one phase but I found linear fusion rifles to be pretty easy to pull off. If you're a newish player and you don't have a cracked god roll five out of five whatever just go to the tower and get sleeper simulant we all put that on to see if it would work and yeah worked out just fine you might run out of ammo near the very end if y'all got sleeper on but that's where burst damage supers come in whoever isn't using well or tether on your team just throw on a damage super of whatever kind hunters gathering storm and star eater scales titans thunder crash and falling star normally i would recommend pyro gale but those are disabled until the 19th apparently and warlocks just go nova bomb and call it a day to really guarantee you're locking up that one phase make sure your radiant well warlock has on lunafaction for better reloading and make sure you have solar weapon surge if you're rocking sleeper or whatever elemental surge to match whatever element your god roll linear fusion is and there you go just do that a lot over and over when you get into a rhythm with your team it should only take you one phase and around three ish minutes per run which honestly ain't that bad good luck getting them essence of oversouls to drop and remember to ring the notification bell for extra rng on your drops 50% of the time, it works every time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on stream.